Alright, it's time for me to review a movie. What's the next movie I'm going to be reviewing for my channel? Oh, shit. Hey there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review Snatched. No, not Snatch, directed by Guy Ritchie. Snatched. Directed by Jonathan Levine. So Snatch is what I just said right now. It's directed by Jonathan Levine. And the film stars Amy Schumer, Goldie Hawn, Wanda Sykes, Joan Cusack, and Ike Barinholtz. So Snatch is about when Amy Schumer's character, Emily, she gets dumped by her boyfriend. And she has no one to go on this exotic vacation with her. And her tickets are non-refundable. Fundable, so she literally needs someone to go with her after many times to convince her her mother agrees to go with her on this exotic vacation when they go there everything seems fine and dandy until Goldie Hawn and Amy Schumer they get kidnapped and yeah, you get your movie. So, Snatch is a movie that should not surprise anyone when I say that I was dreading this film. If you saw the top five least anticipated summer 2017 films I did with my good buddies, Film Fan 0599 and Adam Haskell, you know that I actually put Snatched as my least anticipated movie of the summer and it's just one of my least anticipated movies of the year in general i can't stand amy schumer i don't think she's funny i'm sure as a human being she's cool and all but as a comedic actress she's horrible she's not my cup of tea and i did happen to see her debut film train wreck which i know got really good reviews i never did a review it for it for this channel because i saw it way way late but i hated it her first movie, Trainwreck. I thought a lot of the comedy really fell flat. I thought even the dramatic moments felt so, so forced. And I really just did not care for the main character, a Trainwreck. So those are my quick thoughts on Trainwreck. But Snatched, oh my goodness, looked worse than Trainwreck. It, it baffled me on how bad this trailer looked. And Goldie Hawn, this is the first movie she's doing in fifth years. And Jonathan Levine, who's directed movies like Warm Bodies, 50-50, both great movies, he's directed The Night Before. I didn't care too much for The Night Before, but I really wanted to see if maybe he could surprise me here, and if maybe even, you know, Amy Schumer. Snatched wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But this movie still sucked. Oh man, I hate it Snatched, personally, but of course, I'll get into my positives. So what I'll say is this about Snatched. I think the first act is fine. I surprisingly didn't hate myself watching the first act. They actually did show some promise in the first act, and I surprisingly got some laughs out of the first act. Most of the laughs really come from the first act. Some of the comedy, mainly in the first act, really worked. I was surprised. Amy Schumer, I'm not gonna lie, made me laugh at least maybe once. And it was in this mall scene towards the beginning of the movie. So to her credit, she did make me laugh once in this film. I also did really like Randall Park's cameo in the beginning, like the scene when he's breaking up with Amy Schumer. I'm not gonna lie, he actually did make me laugh. Goldie Hawn has made me laugh a couple of times. Wanda Sykes got a couple of laughs out of me. And I Baron Holt, who I haven't been exactly the biggest fan of, but I'm not gonna lie, he actually did get a couple of laughs out of me when we get to like the second half of the movie. The funniest scene with him is when he's interacting with this uh, police officer because this guy won't do anything. Like, he literally won't do anything to help out Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn, like, because they're missing all that and he really wants to get them back, mainly Goldie Hawn, because he's a mama's boy. 
and the way he was interacting with this police officer and pretty much threatening this police officer. That actually got a big laugh out of me. That probably is the funniest scene in Snatch, to be honest, was that entire scene with him talking to the police officer and basically threatening him unless he actually goes out and helps like Baron Holtz. I will say that Goldie Hawn and Wanda Sykes were actually good. And Jonathan Levine's uh, direction really is not the problem. Definitely not his strongest work when it comes to direction though, but he still definitely tries with his direction. And uh, that's all I can really say about Snatch because oh my God, this movie. This freaking movie, man. Yes, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it's still a bad movie. And it's still a movie that pissed me off for the majority. The first act was fine. There was some promise. I was like, okay, I'm not exactly hating this film. Then the minute Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn, they get taken, the movie falls flat, and the comedy really was so far, and it really was so far in between. The script here is so poorly written. The comedy in the script is not written very well. Like, not at all. It's actually very painful when I have to sit through the comedy. Not to mention, it's just raunchy for the sake of being raunchy, and and instead of the jokes coming off as funny, they just come off as very, very awkward and just so out of place. Like, you know, you got your sex jokes, you even got your rape jokes, and really the fact that they're making a joke out of people that are getting taken, like people that go on vacation and they just get taken by random men, uh, it's kind, it's really insulting. Like when I really think back at this movie, it's actually very insulting that they're actually making it into a joke. I mean, I wasn't offended. It's rare when I get offended watching a movie, but I could definitely see how people would get offended because I don't find this funny. It's actually very mean-spirited that they would make a joke out of something like this, especially considering like it's actually true. Like stuff like this can actually happen, yet it's a joke in this film. And as far as the acting, besides Goldie Hawn and Wanda Sykes, I thought everyone else really wasn't good. They were either fine or they were terrible. And I hate to say this, Amy Schumer is terrible in this film. She's really not a good actress. I really do hope in the future she'll improve. But I could not buy into her at all. She felt so forced, not only with the comedy, but as far as like her reactions to certain situations. Like Goldie Hawn's reactions to certain situations once in a while, they were at least funny. But with Amy Schumer, when she's reacting to something that happens, it's not funny at all. It feels just so forced to me. And I honestly think if Goldie Hawn wasn't there to support Amy Schumer, I think the movie would have been a little bit more painful because honestly, Goldie Hawn is what made this movie a slightly more watchable. Of course, the content that's in this film, uh, it's really hard to watch, but at least with Goldie Hawn, it's not as hard to watch. There is a scene with the tapeworm though. <sighs> yeah. I didn't need to see that. I, uh, there are some things that you don't want to see and that's something I really didn't need to see. That, that was, oh my god. Even the cinematography really isn't anything that's special with this film. It does have, you know, nice shots here and there where they're out in locations, but I didn't really see anything special about the lighting, particularly. I thought the cinematography could look better, you know, even if it's just a standard comedy, you want to try to make your cinematography at least look good. Joan Cusack shows up in this movie and she's utterly wasted. What a way to waste Joan Cusack, a very talented actress, an actress I haven't seen in a while. 
Why, of all people, is she doing this movie? She doesn't speak a word of dialogue because there's this storyline that she got her tongue cut off because so she doesn't reveal any information. Um, and which I will say that is actually one of the scenes of one of the sex I found funny because Amy Schumer made a joke like, well, what if they have her writing down the information? And then Wanda Sykes had the like the oh shit reaction. That part actually made me laugh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That actually did get to me because it's true. Like they would have you write down information, you know, when you're confessing. So okay, yeah, that got me. But Joan Cusack was so wasted in this film. Like what a way to waste her talent. And she was not funny here. You know, her being someone that doesn't say anything. She definitely tries for sure, but her character was really wasted. And the policemen, Amy Schumer and Goli Han, they're doing everything they can to get off of this island. And the police officers, they won't do anything like, isn't it your job to help people? If you were to actually call these police officers, they won't do jack shit. They are utterly useless for the storyline. Like, do your job, man. I could see why Ike Barinholtz's character had to threaten this certain police officer just to help him. Because literally, that was the only way these people were actually going to help actually go on a search for missing people when you actually threaten them. Oh, and then not to mention that this film tries to be so heartwarming. This film just tries to add some drama to it, and it doesn't work either. You can have heart in your comedy, but make sure it works. And when they try to throw in this mother-daughter dynamic, that didn't work. That's the thing. There's no chemistry between Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn. Yes, they look like a daughter and mother duo, for sure. Like the casting of them looking like, okay, that's Goldie Hawn's daughter and that's Amy Schumer's mother. That was casted very well. I'll give them credit. But as far as their chemistry, it never clicked. You would think maybe that would be one of the stronger things in such a bad movie like Snatch, but no, not even the chemistry between Schumer and Han can help. Overall, you guys, I thought Snatch was such a stupid movie. Really, really stupid. And not the good kind of stupid, but just a really idiotic, really predictable, boring, very flat comedy. I really do hope, by all means, Amy Schumer can make a good movie in the future. I am really, really praying I can like an Amy Schumer movie one day, but this is not that movie. I really hated Snatch, and while it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, it's still a bad movie. I'm going to give Snatch one and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Snatched. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!